Hey, welcome back to another QMark video. So in this video, we'll be exploring the dark web and I'm planning to dedicate a playlist especially for this dark web exploring series. So this will be the first video where this is something like getting started in dark web. In this video, I'll be showing you the best safest way to access the dark web where I'll be installing a Tails in a virtual box. You can install this Tails on a simple USB drive and you can use it as a bootable operating system too. So basically this Tails operating system doesn't store any type of cache or doesn't store any type of history that whatever you've been using it. Most of the things will be run in your RAM storage. Once you unplug the USB drive or once you shut down the operating system, all your history data is gone. So that is the advantage of this Tails. So that is the reason why we'll be using the Tails and, and all the connection inside the Tails operating system will be made through the Tor relay routing method. So basically even this dark web is another part of web. Even you can host your own website in dark web and I got a video for that. Do click here or I'll leave a link on the description. So in that video, I have explained you how to host a website in dark web using a simple Raspberry Pi. Even you can do that same method in your old laptop that is lying on your shelf or even you can install that on your live server too. So everything is possible with that method. So do check that video. So without getting any delay, let's get into the video and see how I'm going to install the Tails operating system in VirtualBox. So for this video demonstration, I'm using my Windows PC. Just open any of your browser and inside the search option, just type Tails, T-A-I-L-S and search for it. Open the first link. This is the official Tails website. Here you can see get Tails 4.19. This is the updated version. So if you're watching the video in the future, just download the updated version, whatever it is there. That is what we'll be using and just download for virtual box iso image and just choose the download tails and select the location wherever you want to save it so i'm forwarding this download process so once it is downloaded so now we are downloaded the OS. now it is time to download the virtual box just open in a new tab and type virtual box and open the first link just download the virtual box 6.1 and choose the operating system whatever you are using so for now i'm using windows host and even I'm downloading this file too. So since I already downloaded this, I'm not going to do that. So this is I already installed and you can see few of my other machines what's running right now. So let me create a new machine. Just go to machine on top and create a new machine. And I will name this machine as Tails. And let me select it as Linux. So let it be 64 bit. So you don't need to change anything. And just provide the RAM. You can provide how much memory you want. And just give next 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 all these settings are fine so let me add a little bit of memory to it so 20 gp will be more than enough is what i feel so just click create now it is done just right click and go to settings now go to storage now click on this empty option now if you see just click here and select choose a disk now select the operating system and press ok now your os has been loaded to this virtual box now just click start now select the os Tails, press enter. So I'm fast forwarding this video. So this is nothing but just booting process. So this is what the tail entry screen will be looking like. If you're facing a similar zoom in issue, just go to view and virtual screen one and then select scale to 125 percentage. So just adjust your scale according to your screen size. I feel 125 works for me. So let me select that and just boot the operating system. If you want to change your screen size, you can go to the virtual screen and you can change according to your requirement. Let me zoom it a little bit for the video demonstration. Now the Tails has been installed inside your virtual box. So from here, you can access the dark web. Just go to application on top. So now I'm just fast forwarding all these videos because this video is only like a getting started one. Now the Tails is successfully installed and let me open any dark web website for you. So this is the website for Facebook that has been hosted in the dark web. If you can see the URL, it is .onion. So in this full video series, I'll be acting as a common person and I'll be going through the common search results what I'll be getting in the dark web. So these are all the top search engines what I got as a common person search inside the Tor browser and I'm just opening all these searches and if you can see here i'm accessing some of the hackers website and the hackers community site and you can see here how to hack instagram all this stuff has been given here so i'm fast forwarding these videos so in the next video i'll be uploading all this stuff in a much detailed view 
Hey, hope you guys liked this video. If you do so, like this video, share this with your friends, subscribe to my channel. The next video will be in exploring the dark web where I'll be answering this question called how to hire a hacker. Let me put a small video glance here. So if you can see here, I'm accessing the dark web and also I'm checking out few websites where it shows hire a hacker and we can pay to hire these hackers, but I will not recommend you guys to do that. And even I will not recommend you guys to explore that much deeper into the dark web because you can come up with some kind of a disturbing visuals or content that I will not even recommend you to do that. Where even when I was exploring this dark web, even I came around with this type of content. I am planning to upload all this in the upcoming videos. Do follow this channel and if you have any questions that you want to talk with me personally, do DM to my Instagram ID. I will leave the link in the description. I will see you in the next video. Until that, have fun, happy hacking.